G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Blackbird by The Beatles, which is an absolute finger-picking classic. Now, in this lesson, I'll teach you all the guitar parts and I'll also teach you the exact finger-picking method that Paul McCartney uses when he plays this live. Although that finger-picking method is a little trickier, so I'm gonna leave that towards the end of the video. Now, if you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your guitar and your finger picking, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. For the basics of this song, you'll just need your guitar and standard tuning. Let's jump into the lesson. All right, so let's start with our finger picking basics. So for our finger picking rules, your thumb will take care of the sixth, fifth, and fourth strings, and your index, middle, and ring finger will take care of the third, second, and first strings respectively. They shouldn't pluck any other strings other than the ones they've been assigned to. So let's start with the intro and there's this one line of tab here, which is really simple. Now there's two finger picking patterns that we need to learn for this song. And once you've learned those finger picking patterns, everything becomes very easy because you're just applying those finger picking patterns to certain shapes. So let's start with our first shape and it's literally just your ring finger on the third fret of the sixth string. So it's based around the G chord. Now this first finger picking pattern is really simple. It's a pinch on the bass note of whatever chord shape we're playing and the second string, like that, and then the third string. So that's it for this first finger picking pattern, like that. So this first finger picking pattern just has two plucks, the pinch and then the third string. For our next shape, your index finger goes on the first fret of the second string. Our bass note now is now the fifth string. So we'll play this shape for one picking pattern. Then for our next shape, index finger on the second fret of the fifth string, ring finger on the third fret of the second string. One picking pattern here. And in total for the first bar. Then you'll keep these fingers on these strings, but slide it all the way up to 10th and 12th frets. Now this is where we're going to introduce our second finger picking pattern. So we're gonna start with a pinch. Then we have five plucks after this, which goes third, second, bass note, third, second. So that run of five notes. And together with the pinch, the full picking pattern. We're gonna play that finger picking twice in this position and that's it for the intro. So all together. So just to recap, there's those two finger picking patterns that we need to learn and those finger picking patterns are gonna be used for the rest of the song. So the first finger picking patterns, just two plucks where we do a pinch and then the third string, so. And then the Second finger picking pattern is the longer one where we start with the pinch, then we have the run of five notes, which is third, second, bass, third, second. Like that. Okay, so let's get to the verse and the verse has two lines of tab. Our first two bars are identical to the intro, so nothing new to learn there. For our third bar, we'll slide this 12th and 10th shape down to third and fifth. So keep your fingers exactly on the same strings, just slide them down. Now we're reverting back to our first finger picking pattern, so pinch and third string. And then we're going to change shapes here, so middle finger comes up to the fourth fret of the fifth string, index comes down to the third fret of the first string. Now for this particular shape, we're gonna to have to pinch the fifth and first strings together. And then third string. And so far, And then we're basically gonna do the exact same thing that we just did there, but up two frets. So now we're at fifth and seventh, and then change to this shape. So that bar in total. Then we're gonna to go to this shape at seventh and eighth frets with our index and ring finger. We're gonna start playing our second finger picking pattern here, our longer one. So you play that once for this shape. And then we're gonna slide our index finger down one fret, play one long finger picking pattern here. So in total for the first line of tab.
For our second line of tab, from the sixth and eighth position, we'll slide it down one fret, and we're returning back to our first finger picking pattern here, the shorter one. So one pattern here, and then we're going to this reverse shape that we had previously at third and fourth frets, playing that for one picking pattern. Then we'll return to this shape at third and fifth frets, and we're going to now go back to the longer picking pattern. So that bar in total. For our next bar, we just slide our ring finger down one fret. We're gonna play this for one long picking pattern. Then slide everything down one fret. Play one long picking pattern. Now just slide your ring finger down and lift your index finger. We're gonna play one picking pattern here. Bass note mm -hmm. is the fifth string still. Then we're going to go to our index finger here, first fret of the second string. Now our bass note here is the fourth string. And we're going to play this for one picking pattern. Now remember the bass note is the fourth string here. And then we go and end on our original G position for one long picking pattern. So the second line in total. And in total for the verse. So hopefully now you can see how things are fairly simple. There's just two finger picking patterns that will apply to different chord shapes and the result is a beautiful melody. Now after the first verse, we have this quick fill and it's just one line of tab. We're gonna to go to this third and fifth fret position, play one short pattern here, then slide it down to second and third for one short pattern. Then slide our ring finger to this second fret of the second string open fifth string for one long picking pattern. Then our first fret position with our fourth string as the bass note for one long picking pattern. And then our original G position. So our fill. After that, there's another verse, and then we get to the chorus. So for our chorus, we're gonna start at a position like this, eighth and 10th fret with our index and ring finger. We're gonna play this for a short pattern, then slide down to eighth and seventh, then slide this down two frets to fifth and sixth, and then slide this down to third and fifth. So four short patterns there. For our next bar, we're gonna slide this down two frets to first and third. We're gonna play a long pattern here. And then up two frets, one long pattern here. So in total for the first line of tab, For our second line of tab, the first bar is identical to the first bar in the first line of tab. For the second bar, we start the same. We go to this first and third position for one long pattern. But then we go down instead of up. So we're going to the second fret position. 
with our bass note mm -hmm. on the fifth string. And then we go to this first fret position. And that's it for the chorus, which sounds like this all together. Then we get into another verse, and then there's another chorus, so nothing new to learn there. And then we have a break, which is broken up into two parts. It's quite simple. So for this first half of the break, it's very similar to the intro. So we go G shape, this first fret position with the fifth string as the root note, then this shape, third and second fret, and then up to 10th and 12th. Now we're gonna play this for a total of four long picking patterns. And then we're gonna play three short patterns. And then end with one more pinch. And that's it for the first half of the break, which sounds like this. For the second half of the break, we hold on to that last pluck, and then we're going to pluck it again, but quickly slide out of it, like that. And then we go into the second liner tab here, which goes the third fret shape, one short picking pattern, the first fret shape for one picking pattern, second and third shape for one picking pattern, up to third and fifth for one short picking pattern, now back down, down again to the second fret of the second string position. Now down to the first fret position where our bass note is now the fourth string. We're gonna play this for one long picking pattern. So the second half of the break in total. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two. That's it for the second half of the break. Then we go into another verse and then we get to the outro. Our outro is simple, there's two lines of tab here. We're gonna start at this third and fifth fret shape. We're gonna play this for one short picking pattern. Slide down to second and third frets. One short picking pattern. Down to second fret of the second string and open fifth string shape for one long picking pattern. And then our first fret second string, fourth string for the bass note for one long picking pattern, and original G shape for one long picking pattern. Now the second line of tab is identical except when we get to this G shape, we're just gonna end our song on the G, nice and easy. And for this particular G shape, you will need to put your middle finger on the second fret of the fifth string to allow you to strum that down. So the outro in total. So just a couple of fretting tips. Now a lot of these shapes occur on the fifth and second strings using only your index and a ring finger. So it's a good idea to keep your fingers in contact with those strings, basically at all times while you're shifting up and down these frets. Now there's no point in playing a position here and then you gotta go up two frets and you lift everything up and then go to a next shape. It's much easier and much more efficient to just keep your fingers in contact with those strings and then slide them up. Use your strings as a guide almost like a rail, like a train rail, where you can just slide your fingers up 
and then you're in position. Of course, there's some exceptions to that. For example, in the verse where we go, in that case, of course, we need to lift our fingers up off those strings, but there's a lot of parts in this song where you can just keep in contact and slide up and down. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about how Paul McCartney finger picks this song. Now, all the shapes remain the same, so there's nothing new to learn there. It's really just a matter of how he actually plucks these notes. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's not a very easy concept for beginners to grasp. So that's the reason why I've recommended that you learn it the way I've taught you for most of this lesson but I'll teach you how Paul McCartney does it here just to cover all bases. So Paul McCartney basically only uses his thumb and his index finger to pluck all of this. And he's using an up and down motion with his index finger to pluck a lot of these strings. So let's talk about those two main picking patterns that we spoke about earlier. The first picking pattern is a short one where we pinch two strings and then we play the third string. So to do this with Paul McCartney's method, you use your thumb and your index finger. So for this G shape. And then after that, he actually uses his index finger to flick down on the third string. So he plucks up with the index finger and then plucks down like that. Now you don't have to be super accurate here. He sometimes ends up hitting the second string as well as the third string but it's basically an up motion and then a down motion with the index finger and your thumb only plays that first pinch like that. So if I'm demonstrating the intro, the first bar would go like this. So that's how he's playing the short picking pattern. So what about the long picking pattern? All right, so let's go to our 10th and 12th shape up here that we had in our intro. For this longer picking pattern, we start with the pinch, and again, that's with the thumb and index finger. Then we're going to go, for our five note run, a pluck down with your index finger on the third string, and then a pluck up with your index finger on the second string. So down, up. Then we go bass note with the thumb, then we're gonna pluck up on the third string with our index finger, and then do a flick down on the second string. So pinch, down, up, thumb, up, down. A little bit slower. Pinch, down, up, thumb, up, down. And quicker. And in succession. So that's how Paul McCartney plays it. So if I'm demonstrating the intro, this is how it sounds. So that's how Paul McCartney plays those two finger picking patterns. And you can just apply them to everything else that I've already taught you in this song. So nothing changes in terms of the chord shapes. You're just applying a different way of plucking those notes with your plucking hand. But as I mentioned, if you're a beginner, I wouldn't recommend trying the Paul McCartney way first because that is kind of tricky to get your head around. I would focus on that method that I taught you at the start of this video. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals to this playthrough. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to head over to guitarsalreadyhero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you want to improve on your finger picking and your guitar, then sign up to Guitars Every Hero Premium, which is my complete step by step guitar course. It'd mean the world if you could hit that like button, hit subscribe, and click the little notification bell as well so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, and requests down below, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitars Already Hero. Cheers.